Hey there, welcome to my insurance media. I'm Jack, and today we're going to talk about the frustrating issue of car insurance rates skyrocketing. Many Americans, including myself, have been witnessing our insurance costs go through the roof, and it's time to understand why this is happening. Back in August 2021, I bought a brand new Audi R8, and my insurance cost $280 per month. I thought it was a bit high because it's a rare $200,000 sports car, but I justified it. My deductible was $1,000, and I had roadside assistance and rental car coverage. Now, in 2023, my insurance with Progressive is $590 per month, and I haven't had any accidents or claims. My deductible is now $5,000, and I don't have rental car coverage or roadside assistance anymore. I couldn't figure out why my insurance doubled, so I asked my insurance company, friends, and banks, but nobody had a clear answer. Hi, Jack. I'm glad you brought this up. It's been a concern for many people, myself included. So what's causing this sudden surge in car insurance premiums? Well, it's not just about individual driving records or accidents. There seem to be several reasons contributing to the increase. For starters, repair costs have surged. The prices of car parts have gone up by as much as 60%, creating a supply-demand imbalance due to pandemic-related disruptions. That's interesting. I didn't know the pandemic affected car parts prices like that. What else is driving up insurance costs? Another significant factor is rising labor costs. Finding qualified technicians to repair vehicles has become a challenge, and as a result, labor prices have skyrocketed. That makes sense, especially with more demand for repairs. But why are insurance companies facing losses during the pandemic? One reason is the rental car woes. Some customers held onto rental cars for extended periods while waiting for their cars to be repaired, causing significant losses for insurance companies. I see. That must have put a strain on their resources. Are there any other factors contributing to the increase? Yes, fraudulent claims have been on the rise. Insurance fraud, including staged accidents and inflated claims, adds to the overall cost of insurance for honest customers. That's unfortunate. People taking advantage of the system affect everyone else's premiums. Are there any other reasons we should be aware of? Car values also influence premiums. Even if you own an older car, insurance companies raise rates due to the higher costs of replacing older vehicles in today's market. That's interesting. I didn't know the age of the car could impact the premium. What about lawsuits? Do they play a role in the increase? Absolutely. Frivolous lawsuits contribute to the increasing insurance premiums. Some individuals exploit the system to receive substantial payouts for minor accidents. That's concerning. It seems like there are several factors at play here. Are there any other significant reasons behind the rising premiums? Medical expenses after accidents have also surged, impacting insurance costs. And let's not forget weather-related catastrophes like wildfires and flooding, which have caused substantial losses for insurance companies, leading to higher premiums. I had no idea weather-related events could affect car insurance rates. This is a lot to take in. By the way, you mentioned California facing an insurance crisis. What's going on there? California has a law that prevents insurance companies from raising prices excessively, which is good for consumers. However, it's causing issues for insurance companies, and some of them, like Allstate, Progressive, State Farm, and GEICO, are leaving the state due to difficulties managing their risks. That sounds like a challenging situation for Californians. So if you have policies with those companies, you might need to consider alternatives. Do you have any suggestions for people dealing with higher premiums? If you're looking for new options, it's essential to shop around and compare rates from different insurers. It's also helpful to share your experiences in the comments section so we can help each other out and find the best insurance solutions. That's a great idea. Sharing experiences and information can be very valuable. Thanks for shedding light on this issue, Jack. I hope we all find affordable insurance solutions in these challenging times. You're welcome. Stay informed and see you in the next video.